Hi, I'm Justin Cohn. I'm the creator of a Building on the Past video about Creative Commons. Um, I'm also a designer and animator. I run a studio in Austin called Houndstooth. Um, and uh, I'm the founder of a website called motionographer.com, which is um, basically an inspiration site for motion graphics and animation and digital filmmaking, visual effects, that kind of thing. Um, I do all that mostly because I love it and I've been doing it for about 10 years or so. So for a little background on the Building on the Past video, um, I created it actually as part of a contest that Creative Commons was sponsoring back in 2004, I think it was. I think it was called the Moving Image Contest. And the, uh, the idea behind the contest was basically in two minutes using whatever methods you want, um, explain what Creative Commons is and why it's valuable. So um, I had seen Lo uh, Lawrence Lessig, um, the, uh, one of the big the founders of Creative Commons and its biggest proponents. I saw him speak um, here in Austin a few years ago and I was also a fan of DJ Spooky who's also a big proponent of Creative Commons and so I took, um, I took a drum beat from one of DJ Spooky's songs and I took some, some lecture audio from Lawrence Lessig. Of course it was all Creative Commons licensed. I found a lot of um, great video clips on the uh, Prelinger Archive or Prelinger Archive uh, from archive.org um, and I also found some other audio sources. Um, some were just royalty free, some were Creative Commons, some were public domain, and I meshed it all together and along with some original assets that I created and made a motion graphics uh, two minute video. And um, I, it's been really, uh, it's had a life of its own. It's really kind of been uh, a big success in a way. And I'm really happy I, I made it. I, I won the contest, by the way, that, that Creative Commons put on. I think the main message behind the building on the past video uh, is that Creative Commons puts the creator, the author, the content producer in the driver's seat. Um, and it gives you just the right amount of control for the project that you might be working on. Um, you know, it's not a big slam against copyright. It's just basically the idea that um, when you make something, um, you have options about how that thing lives out in the world and how it's used. And um, so that was what I was trying to get across in the video. I was also trying to have a little bit of fun too. Creative Commons uh, is, in, is important to me um, for, for two reasons. The first reason is that um, it just makes life easier, right? Um, I don't have to worry about lawsuits or trying to secure permissions from people who might be impossible to get in touch with. Um, it just makes creation easier and encourages the exchange of ideas. It encourages discussion and education. Um, and then the second reason I like it is a little more symbolic. Um, by putting a Creative Commons license on my work, it, it basically says, I care enough to share. It, it's, and it, I feel like I'm taking part in a community just by licensing my work with Creative Commons. Originally, I, uh, I licensed my Building on the Past video with a, uh, I think it was a attribution non-commercial license. And I think I, the non-commercial part was there because I was just generally suspicious about corporate interests or something. I don't know, it, it wasn't very well thought out, but I think I was worried that somebody would maybe take the video and recontextualize it in a way that wasn't appropriate uh, for the video. Um, since then, I've kind of changed the way that I think about things. Um, the video has been shown around the world and it's been translated and subtitled in different languages and um, it's taken on life of its own and I think that um, it deserves to be a little freer um, and I think there's no reason to keep it from being used by uh, a commercial interest. Um, because I think it has some educational value and I think it has um, a message that can be debated, discussed, uh, disagreed with or agreed with. And by removing the uh, non-commercial part of my license, it's, it's making it, you know, it, it's easier for people to now do all those things. Um, and it was really easy to change the license as well. It wasn't like it was a big deal. Um, in my case, I just, I had an email exchange with some people uh, at Creative Commons. I basically said that I wanted to change it and it worked. 
I could have also uh, gone to the Creative Commons uh, website and issued a new license for my project um, just by using the tool there, and, and then I just update um, wherever that license might appear. I can update it with a new link, and I'm good to go. It really takes like maybe a minute. I don't know. It's super easy. So, yeah. As a, a content producer, a designer, animator, whatever, creative person that does stuff, um, I think we, we often like fall into a trap where we, we think uh, as soon as we finish a project, like it's like our baby and um, we don't want to give it away to anybody. It's mine, mine, mine kind of thing. But um, I think now because of Creative Commons and because of this general discussion about uh, ownership and intellectual property, we have, we have to ask ourselves questions. I think we're obliged to ask ourselves questions. And one of those questions is, uh, is this project bigger than me? And um, if your project is... Uh, educational, you're trying to put forth a message that is, um, you know, beyond you and that needs to go out into the world, the answer to your question of whether it's bigger than you is probably yes. And in that case, uh, I think it's good to at least consider Creative Commons as an option um, because it makes it so much easier for your project uh, to, to expand beyond you. Um, yeah, you, you, have a, you give up a little control um, but that's the exciting part, and that's really um, the, how, how amazing things happen. Um, and another question you can ask yourself is, um, when you finish a project, um, is this really the end of the project, or is this the beginning? Um, and I think you'd be surprised by how often you can find yourself saying that this is the beginning. Um, I like to think of projects as stories, right? And so um, if you choose a traditional copyright, then the story of your project has just a, a limited number of possible endings. Um, and sometimes those endings are fine and they, they work for the story. Um, but a lot of times it's more interesting to, uh, to choose a different path for your story. Um, and to, if you go with a Creative Commons license, um, you're basically saying that I don't want this story to end. I want it to go on and on and I want it to have different endings uh, or different twists and turns rather. And I want other people to tell this story. And I think that's a better story. That's a more exciting story. It's epic. <laughs>